Welcome to Big Questions. This is Cal Fussman. And this week on Big Questions, we got the actor and author of a wonderful book called Green Lights, Matthew McConaughey. And I want to pass on a great example of storytelling in healthcare. I'm telling you, there's not a cockatiel on the planet that could get through this without shedding a tear. Okay. So it's dad and I living in a double wide trailer on the outskirts of Longview, Texas in a trailer park. And so it's he and I, we get up every morning and have breakfast. He goes to work, comes home. It's he and I and this pet cockatiel named Lucky. Lucky's a cockatiel, dad loved that bird, and that bird loved dad. And he'd come home and Lucky be flying around and he'd cook dinner, Lucky be on his shoulder. He'd talk to that bird and talk back and everything else. And the one rule was you had to watch it when you left out, when you left the trailer because you didn't want Lucky flying out, right? Well, the one morning he, uh, um, we, let, he dad went off to work. We'd let Lucky fly free in the uh, trailer as we usually did. And then I went off and went through the woods and built tree houses and stuff. Well, we come home, I get home about the same time dad does and Lucky's not there to greet him. Where's Lucky? Not in the cage. It's not flying around. Where's Lucky? I go to one end of the trailer. He goes to the other end. And all of a sudden, he goes, oh, no, no, no. And I hear my dad, and I run back there. And there's dad on his knees, leaning over the toilet. And in the bottom of the toilet, slowly just circling, is a fully soaking wet, lifeless cockatiel named Lucky. Evidently, had gotten in the toilet and got in to get water and tried to get out and probably kept hitting the lip of the seat until he just either knocked himself out or until he was floating. Anyway, this bird was lifeless and dead. Dad reaches in, tears already starting to stream down his ears. No, no, lucky, no. Pulls this little bird up, soaking wet, lifeless, heads hanging, not a movement, nothing. The dirt is dead. That, that pop gets him and goes, puts his head to, in his mouth, up to like his shoulders, top of his wings, and starts going, breathing out very lightly. And I remember he wasn't going, no, he like was doing like the amount of air you'd want to put into a, to try and resuscitate a cockatiel, all right? Just tears streaming, leaving a little gap on his mouth so enough air could get out so it didn't burst his lungs. About on the eighth, ninth out, um, breath out. <laughs> little wing flap, little, little feather on the end of a wing. And pop starts going, oh, 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 oh. tears starting to get a little in the hope now out of complete pain. Keeps it up, another one. Another one. And he goes, beep, beep. in his mouth, in my father's mouth, I heard this chirp. I know, pulls him off. Tears running down his face. <laughs> and Lucky shakes his feathers in his head. Look out, Brian. Looks right at my dad, holding him right there. Looks right at my dad. My dad's sitting there looking at this bird. He, and Lucky was alive. And Lucky lived another eight years. There are a lot of other great stories on this week's episode. So check out Big Questions with Cal Fussman this week with Matthew McConaughey.